Hi there, I'm John from Bijou Gardening Services and you might be considering having a gardener come and do some work in your garden, either a one-off or by regular appointment. I just thought I'd quickly give you some top tips um, to navigate that process um, and uh, take on your first work with a gardener. So I would always encourage people to consider the type of service that they would like to experience. Are you A, someone that just wants the job done, you don't care who by and how they do it, you just want it done quickly? Are you B, someone that perhaps previously had had uh, a bit of poor experience from someone else um, and therefore you want someone that you can trust to provide a certain level of service, a certain level of professionalism um, and uh, they are accountable to what they say they will do via things like terms and conditions? Or are you C, someone that values service, someone that's prepared to pay for quality, that's someone that is really wanting a simplified process for them. They want the professional to be doing the peddling, the uh, rushing around behind the scenes so that they don't have to. Frankly, they are employing a service and they are looking for a more simple solution. Within the industry, um, I'm particularly talking about professional gardeners at this stage. Um, however, it perhaps applies to the wider uh, world of uh, employing a service, um, having someone come to uh, your home possibly um, and provide a, a solution for you. Um, you generally find two different uh, systems. One is a fixed um, quote. Um, this is when you agree on a particular outcome that you want achieved and that person quotes you for that amount. You may be familiar with this type of service, particularly when it comes to getting work done on your car. You want an, uh, a service done on your car, you're given a price for that service um, and then the work is fulfilled. The other pricing model is an hourly type rate. Now, an hourly type rate, um, you agree on how much that person is going to uh, be paid per hour. However, it might create a high dependency on you because you're having to specify what time that person starts and finishes and what they are doing um, on an hourly basis um, and also um, navigating situations when time runs over an hour or um, if that person isn't working as efficiently as you would like. Now at Bijou Gardening Services, we um, hear often from people that have perhaps had poor experience of an hourly type uh, rate um, and we do all our pricing via a fixed quote so from the start you as a, the, the, uh, the, the client know what you are getting um, and, uh, and how much it will cost. So as a professional service we provide things like terms and conditions, we have insurance, we're accountable and responsible. So what I mean by that is um, we generally have waste um, that we produce when we're p performing our service, um, whether it's hedges and shrubs that are being cut and we have green waste to take away, we responsibly dispose of that and that all comes at a cost. Now if you are expecting someone to, uh, to to come out to your house possibly in their the work vehicle uh, which also will be uh, insured and they might have public liability we would hope they would uh, working in your home environment this all comes at a cost um, now as a rough estimate i would encourage you to to consider those costs that it costs that person and to provide a service to you um, are likely to be closer to 100 pounds um, than what you might experience um, in the likes of minimum wage. Um, so obviously the, the scope of work and that that person will be delivering to you will vary vastly and the scale of, of uh, the space that you have um, in terms of the actual workload when they're at your premises but just to, to get a service to your front door um, and do it on your premises costs that business money and subsequently you should expect more quotes that are closer to £100 than minimum wage. So you've decided that you do want to, to go ahead and um, have someone come and provide a service for you. Um, here's my quick top tips to make that process more efficient and hopefully less painful for you and the professional that you are inter interacting with.
First, I would encourage you to conceptualize what you want the end vision to, to, to look like. What would the job fulfilled look like? Um, what um, would uh, the finished appearance of the space um, feel like, look like to be in? Um, what would you be left with at the end of the job? Then I would encourage you to consider the level of service that you want. So like I mentioned at the start of the video, do you just want anyone to do it? Do you want a certain level of professionalism um, from the person that uh, provides the service? Or are you looking for an easier um, solution? Are you looking to, to uh, perhaps provide or pay for quality? And then thirdly, what is your price range so none of us like to um, show our cards when it comes to uh, how much we're prepared to pay because we're fearful that if we say too much um, we might end up being quoted more than what the actual uh, cost of the job is um, but I would really encourage you to, to, to perhaps consider a price range um, an area um, that you're, uh, you're you're prepared in your mind um, to, to sacrifice in exchange um, for for the services or goods um, that you are going to to, to receive. Um, often, um, when we approach inquiries and we might ask them uh, for a particular price range, um, we are more than uh, keen to to come out and uh, meet with people in person. Um, and see their space and discuss the, the, the quote in more detail. Um, but, uh, but there is a large, large range um, of people that um, believe uh, that they can pay for people come to, to their house, a um, uh, kind of minimum wage figure, when um, you may find that uh, is very unrealistic. Um, so I would really encourage you to, to, to work out, firstly, the technical outcome that you want achieved. Secondly, the level of service that you would like to receive and what are you, what are you prepared to pay for it, the price range. Okay, if you've liked this video, if you've found it helpful, um, please do um, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and if you are in Litchfield District or locally um, in Staffordshire um, or the West Midlands in the UK, um, and you would like some help in your garden, do please feel free to get in touch. It's John from Bajou Gardening Services. The link and the website is all in the description with possibly some further reading too. Okay, thanks everyone.